Hey guys, Miss Sneer, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to glitch washing machines inside of each other on Dishwashing Simulator. Let's get right into this. So, first of all, what you want to do, you're going to need the double washing machines. Like the washing machines that take up two spaces, you're going to need these. So, first what you want to do, go ahead and place your washing machine wherever. I'm going to just place it right here because it's the easiest. And now... What you want to do, you got to rotate it and then click place at the exact same time. Just like this. Didn't do it that time. But, yeah. So, it does work. if you get. It kind of takes a couple tries sometimes. But you can eventually place it inside of each other. And there's many different ways you can place it inside of each other. Like, like this. See? It's inside of each other so it saves up one space. And yeah, there's many different ways you can do this. Like, you can do it like this. You can place it like this and rotate it like this way. It does work. It, it can take a couple of tries. You can actually get very good at it, though, and get, like, every try. See, I was doing this a ton earlier, but now that I'm recording, I, I cannot do it. But yeah, see, there we go. Just like that. So you can place them like this. There's probably other ways you can glitch them like i mean there is other ways like you can glitch them in like every kind of pattern you want you can make any sort of layout see if i do this on time just got it right there so see it's three machines right here taking up a space of just one machine see one two three and this normally could only fit two but it is now fitting three so yeah, there's many different ways you can do this. You can also do it in like this pattern. It does take up like four spaces, but you can get like whatever washing machine or whatever. Like, let's say, which one is the best one? I don't know. I'm going to just go with this one. So you can place that one right there or whatever. So yeah, you can fit like three washing machines like this. or Yeah, you don't really need to place these. These aren't very good once you have like these ones. But, I mean, stuff like this right here, this can help you a ton. Because you can place, like, more down than you should be able to. Yeah, you can place it down, like, however you want. Another thing I found out. So, if you go ahead, toss down, like, any washing machine, you just need it to... You just need it to look like this. So, now, you just need this to be red. Have it be red. So, now... Turn on your auto clicker. You need an auto clicker for this one. So turn it on. And now, move it to the side. Just like that. You see? Do y'all see that? Y'all might not notice, but it placed tons of washing machines on top of each other. Like, I had, like, 13. It placed, like, 8 on top of each other. You, like, can't even tell because they blend in so well. But look, if you grab dishes just like this... Let's grab a ton of dishes. And alright. So you have dishes. And you can toss them in just like this. Oh. So if you do place them on top of each other. If you click it you will notice that you can't place them in. So just click this flap. Because once it's like. Once they're washing it will go back up. And you can just constantly click the flap. Just like that. And then once you're done you can go ahead and remove this. See, now you have tons of washing machines on top of each other. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Boom. So yeah, just like that. And another thing that I think you might be able to do, if you get like exactly on time, you might be able to place them just by moving them like this. But doing it like this is harder. Harder than just rotating them. Rotating them is like the easiest way you can do it. So, yeah, basically, you just have to, like, click it, like, while it's, like, going inside of each other. You see, whenever it's blue, that means you can click it. So, whenever you rotate it, like, inside of each other, like this, you gotta click it at, like, the exact same time. So, it places it just like that. So, boom. Didn't do it. So, yeah, it, it may take a couple tries, but once you get used to it, it starts getting pretty easy, just like this. So yeah, you can also make like tons of cool designs or whatever like this. I mean, th this looks pretty cool, I guess. 
And then you can just place a... Uh, let's get a golden one. So yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. But one thing you cannot do, which is pretty annoying, you can't place a washing machine like this. Or And... Oh, I guess you can place it like that. Maybe. Maybe. I'm trying to think of ideas right now. But yeah, you can't place it like this. So you gotta be careful where you do place it. And... Actually... Boom! We just glitched three inside of each other right there. So if you do what I, what I just did, you can glitch three inside of each other. Just like that. So that is actually very helpful and boom got that one inside of it and that one is not turning blue and so boom just like this I'm making tons of spaces so you can basically place them like however and wherever you want on your plot it, it just has to be blue and like red out like the same time See, so right here, I wouldn't be able to do it because it's not turning blue at all. It has to be blue at one point, and that's how you, like, glitch it. So, like this. See, I can't place it like that, and boom. Uh, I can't do it. All right. Whatever. It does take a couple tries. But yeah, it is actually pretty cool, though. See, so normally, you should not be able to do this, but I just did. So, Yeah. That is the glitch. And remember, <laughs> I already talked about this multiple times. But remember, you can place them on top of each other just like that. And yeah, so you can basically place like these however you want. And like however much you want stacked on top of each other. Super cool. You might also be able to find a glitch for these ones. You, you should be able to also place these on top of each other. Yeah. I don't know how much of these I had, but... I think I placed them on top of each other. Yeah, I placed three gold ones down. So yeah, super cool. And yeah, that is going to be all for today. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next video.